What's up guys, welcome back to another MX vs ATV Reflex video. Today we are going to be playing Glen Helen, which is a track made by Red Rider. Now, Red Rider is a name that I keep seeing when I go through these track lists, and um, I'm actually very fortunate that he's now kind of venturing into the MX bike scene as well, to do some custom tracks on there. I know he's got some stuff going on in the works, I see him uh, appearing in the discords every now and then. Um, I am mixing up ever so slightly today, I'm on the, uh, is it Takashi? or Suzuki, let's just say Suzuki, uh, 450, and I've actually got it now, so it says my name on the back, it doesn't say Rider anymore, so, um, gonna see how this goes, I've not touched this track at all yet, I actually downloaded it, um, hopped in here, changed all my, like, settings, and I've tuned my bike for a bit more top speed now as well, so it should be better, um, but we're gonna see how it goes, now, I was very, very surprised at how much love the Reflex video got the other day, um, didn't expect it whatsoever because I tried doing reflex before on this channel and it just it just didn't really go sorry it didn't go badly but it just didn't do as well as the MX bike stuff that uh, usually goes with the um, this track is very very wide but looks very wide open as well so um, tips off the last video is I need to be oh god I need to be leaning a lot more so hanging off the back of the bike on the straights whenever I can or stretch whipping whenever I can as well, and uh, it's just going to be a learning process for me. Oh my god, I oh god, hang on, I, I thought it looks a bit bland. I've not got the HUD on, let me put the HUD on, my bad. But not a professional YouTuber, so right, let's carry on. Now, the reason I had the HUD off is obviously I took I took the screenshot um, for the last video after the fact, and I usually just do it uh, riding around in this camera. Is it this camera? I think it's this camera, hang on. Yeah, this camera, so I'll just turn the HUD off and take like, a screenshot like this, which is uh, very difficult. So if anybody knows of some better uh, cameras, or better ways I can take some screenshots, or if maybe there's a mod so I can fly around the map maybe and take pictures as well, please let me know. Because um, that seems to be a difficult... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. And <laughs> managed to slowly slot into that. God, this track looks very um, rough, slash difficult. Going to be uh, going to be very interesting. Of course, some of riding lean there. I just haven't turned my touchpad fingers off yet. So corners seem very difficult. Jumps feel good though. They look good. Scaling wise, it seems very, very, good. very good. Very true to uh, the old Glen Helen scaling. Let me try waiting the outside peg a little bit so my back end doesn't slide around. God, what's at the top of this? I just feel like I'm lacking speed everywhere, and I know full well it is me and not very much speed through the corners. Can I stretch this one out? Yes, yeah, get right over the front of her. There we go. Not much of a whip in that one. I literally just leaned forwards, but it done the job regardless. Um, so let's pop around. Yeah. I saw I got a couple of comments asking me to do uh, Glen Helen. Uh, I did also have a few people asking me to do Red Park as well, I think. But I had a scroll through the uh, the national tracks and I filled by like most installs and stuff and I couldn't find couldn't find Red Buds so maybe I should say at the moment having a bit of a senior moment going a bit blind so I'll have to have a look again see if I can find it but uh, what I might do oh my god that was a that was violent wasn't it? I didn't even have time to bring that background. Um, what I might do for the next uh, reflex video that I do is try and venture into some of the like more fantasy type tracks because there's a fair few uh, weird and like, wild tracks I've seen as I'm scrolling through you know um, I've done one ages ago, it's called like Roller Coaster Madness, something along those lines. Um, and that was just absolutely massive jumps. Uh, it, looks like it looks like there's quite a few tracks like that, so definitely going to have to uh, venture into that in the future. I, I'm, I don't think this track justice is where I am. I'm going very, very slowly. Let's hop in there, Let's give it a little scroll. Uh, this is a very rough section, Jesus. I like it though, I like it. I wish we had some more stuff like this in uh, some of the other MX games where you've got this many pre-built ruts. Even, even in a straight line on jumps would be nice. Oh my god! Oh, we're so close to that pole just then. Right, let's... Oh, don't do that quickly. Let's hop off the back of her. Right, I'm going to wait the outside peg. It does feel... It feels quite sandy as well. It feels like it's, uh, it's sacking my speed quite a lot. Right, let me see if I can get around this corner so I'm going to need dramas. I'm, much, I'm just going to go around the other side. Make life a little bit easier. <laughs> there we go. No dramas by going around the outside and just missing all the ruts. God, I have no idea. I've been watching a few um, combat videos uh, since my last video that I've done, just to really see how cracked people are. And, uh, one person that kept coming to uh, kept coming up in my recommended after that was uh, this goes by the name of Merlin on YouTube. I don't know if he's still close, but he's done a whole bunch of like, combat videos on, on normal and custom tracks, and it's just quite nice to watch. Uh, added a little bit of a nostalgia trip for me. Let's get all the way. Can I make it to this inside right this time? Oh my god, that was going to be so fast for a second. I have no idea. Like, are you meant to slow down close or are you meant to just pin it and, absolutely, and hope that you make it around the corner? 
have no idea. Let's get up and over this. Oh, coming in a little bit hot. There we go. Up. Okay, I feel like I've done a little bit dirty there. I'm not sure I not sure I deserve that reset, but okay. Uh, one thing that I want to have a look at as well, but I'm not too sure about, which I think I'm quite scared that I might just cause my game save like to corrupt and stuff again, is uh, downloading gear and bikes, because I know you get custom gear and bikes for this game as well. Now, tracks are very straightforward. Like, we've got, there's a whole like, external app that you download and run, um, which I put in the description of the last video. A lot of people are asking about it. And, um, I've just put a description to another YouTube video, which is the one that I watched, to go about installing it and such, so go and give that a look if you're looking at how to get the custom tracks. Um, but I'm not too sure on... Oh my god, what is going on here? Come on, let's get turn around. There we go. Um, I'm not sure how to go about getting the bikes and gear, so I'll look at that in the near future as well. Just had a little bit of variety. You know, I mean, this game is... It's, it's not super limited when it comes to... Com like, customization in terms of bike and skin. I feel like it's got quite a good amount of gears. Um, the bike graphics really I think are what lets it down. There's no bike graphics to me that really really stand out. Um, what I used to run back in the day when I used to play the game like religiously every single day um, was I used to have the, the Kawasaki, the, the Dakimoto, and I used to have the Geico graphics on it and I used to think it looked so so nice. Um, but I don't even know how you go about getting that anymore because the save file that I'm using with the 15 million credits it's got like a bunch of downloadable gear and also the DLC tracks, but it doesn't have the DLC um, bike graphics. No idea if you can still get them anymore, if they're still available to purchase. Um, if you could, if you generally can buy them, I'd like, even go out of my way of buying them, to be honest. I, I like it that much, but that was my go to back in the day. And I remember I, I, I changed. Um, I've changed customization skins fairly often. I um, mean, on, on the MX Online Tournaments website that I referenced in my last video, um, you had like teams on there that you could apply for, and the teams you'd probably find like they, they'd change the skin, so you'd all kind of run the same skins in the races, or um, some teams were named after like real life riders, so you'd run like a replica set up. I know, I think AJ Canzaro was even one of the people on there back in the day. Shows how long he's been around for. So, oh god, get away from the Spongebobs, please. A bit of a better run up the hill this time round. That was fairly uh, straightforward. I've done four laps again because I had no idea how long this track was going to be. Um, because I feel like I got round Iron Man fairly quickly last time. Um, but, oh god, oh god, oh god. Right, come on. Oh, turn, please, turn! No! Oh god, I wish I could... Oh, I should turn my controller over there on for these. Just so you can see that I am genuinely trying to turn left and it's just not me. <laughs> it's not having it. It's not letting me do it. I am trying, I promise. Uh, I've also noticed that... Oh god, I'm going to get reset again, aren't I? Uh, I've noticed that I also seem to have a thing for red, like accents, whether it be boots or gloves or whatever. I'm doing the same thing in Monster Energy Supercross 5 right now as well, in the career mode. Um, but you can only really customise your helmet and boots when you sign for like an actual team, so at the moment I'm with uh, Pro Circuit Cowie. Um, but the, I've got red boots and red helmet, and I don't, I don't know what it is. I just like the, the, red, the red accent on it, I think it's really, really nice. And especially when you get the colour of uh, yellow involved as well on this Suzuki. I think it looks very nice. And I struggled to find a kit that I really liked, but... Oh, oh god, what happened there? Which, which one? Like, light and bug? Um, but yeah, I think this full kit kind of uh, contrasts it quite nicely. Uh, I definitely feel like there's different soil changes, because this part of the track feels a lot more... A lot deep, a lot deeper. Like, this looks like deep sand compared to the rest track. Right, let me go outside and remember to double the finish line. Stretch it out. Right, now I should hopefully be able to send the finish line. There we go. I just need a good run of it. And again, I'm going to go around the outside in this corner. Try and get some sort of a run. Oh, no, I don't think I was going to say, some sort of a run through this uh, this roller section here. Because, oh, wait, I'm leaning off the back. That actually quite works. Go on, double. And get double. Oh, yes. Okay, we're making progress. Uh, uh, Hello? <laughs> I was about to say JLV, and I realised I'm not playing the next simulator. Um, who made Reflex? Who was it? Was it Activision? I have no idea, I can't remember. It was like TXU Nordic or something like that, was it? Or, or Rainbow Studios, one or two. There's, there's a whole bunch of different people involved. That was a very weird reset. Um, I'm going to blame Red Rider for that. Red Rider, I know you're watching this because you watched the last video. <laughs> I'm coming for you, I'm calling you out. That was a very weird track reset. Maybe he's got it so you can't like, switch over lanes or anything like that. I'm sure the... Um, the behind the scenes stuff and the checkpoints and all that is probably quite quite difficult. Especially on an old game like this. I'm not sure when this game was originally released that they had the full intention of making all this customization stuff. I'm not sure if they're tools that came with the game or what. I've never ever 
like seen anything about the custom track making in Reflex. I never looked into it at all. Whereas other games like uh, Re like Simulator or MX Bikes, for example, it's like well, I I've made a sim track before. I've not played an made an MX Bikes track before, but I know roughly what goes into it and what programs such use. But when it comes to Reflex, I have no idea. I've not seen anything. Like I'm so uninvolved in the community. Uh, all right, let's try it. Fourth time's a charm. Fourth time's a charm. Yes, there we go. Didn't have to end up the video looking like a complete idiot. I got around like at least one time. Uh, there's a few people that said I should join some of the Reflex discords because like, like, they still do tournaments this day after I was talking about MX Online tournaments. And part of me is like, I'm very, very tempted. Then another part of me is like, I don't want to get absolutely destroyed and not enjoy myself because, as you know, I'm a very competitive person. Um, maybe. Uh, maybe I'll look into it once the aerial Supercross Championship's all done for MX Bytes. Because uh, what I don't want to do is start spending a bunch of time on Reflex, and then my speed suffer on bikes, and I just throw away Championship now. Uh, that feels like a bit of a weird statement to make, considering that I have two rounds worth of points in my favour, but I do get a little bit worried. I don't want to kind of take it for granted, you know, anything could happen, I could not make a week, I could disconnect from the server another week, anything could happen. Uh, it is Amex Bikes after all, it's very, very wild. Um, but we're coming to the end of this lap already, or well, the end of this session already, I feel like it's zoomed by. Um, very, very good track, but of course, if it, Red Rider's standards are anything to go and buy, of course it was going to be a good track. Um, really, really enjoying myself. I'm trying to kind of behave, not behave myself, that's not the right word, or discipline myself in the fact that I don't want to be playing a bunch of tracks when I'm not recording because I want to have the ability to kind of experience things for the first time with you guys so um, same as last video please let me know what tracks you'd want me to cover um, I might even do some Supercross next actually either a replica or a custom Supercross track uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video most of all if you did please do drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new have a lovely rest of the day whatever it is you're up to and until I catch you in the next video peace my tent way too damn dark laugh in your face like man dark came a long way from the bad days way back had to burn down that landmark seen some things i really want to see it's all good that's what made me me now who would i be if i had it easy used to break down now i'm in a 350 like whoa i've been laying way too low had to switch up and change my flow because i'm back from the block had to bust some rocks and dust off the dust and get back in the box now why you want to